Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So today is going to be an extreme clean with me. I will be focusing on my kitchen. I'm going to start off by doing your typical kind of tidying up and cleaning off my counters, but I will be doing some major deep cleaning too. I hope you guys enjoy today's video and it gives you some extreme cleaning motivation to get some things done and checked off your to-do list. But stay till the end because I am also sharing a really fun sweet treat recipe for you guys. It is so, so good. I literally cannot stop eating it. And it is going to be super fun to make for St. Patrick's Day. So stay till the end and make some yummy treats when you guys are done cleaning. But let's go ahead and get started. So put me up on whatever device you're watching me on and let's get some cleaning done. So I am just starting off by doing a quick tidy up, cleaning off the counters, putting some things away and doing some dishes just because I like to have a clean space when I come in here and clean whatever I'm doing, whether it's deep cleaning like this one or just cleaning in general. It makes me feel so much more productive. But I will say, you guys, I did not get to finish my deep cleaning. I had so, so much that I needed to get done and not enough time in the day to do it. So stay tuned because there will be a part two, possibly a part three, depending on how much I can get done. So be on the lookout for those as well, especially if you guys enjoy today's video. I am kind of pulling some things out of this drawer. This is actually our junk drawer and I am just really curious how many of you guys have a junk drawer in your home? I really like to call it a utility drawer because a lot of these things we use on a daily basis. They just don't actually have an actual home. Like I do like to keep pens in the kitchen for when I need a quick pen to write something down and just random things like that. But there are things in here that have accumulated over the past couple of months. So that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm just pulling these this stuff out of here that have actual homes. But anyways, let me know down below if you guys have a junk drawer or a utility drawer in your own home. I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us so I feel like this cabinet is a little random. We have like a single pan, the cutting boards, the skillet, like it just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So I eventually would love to come in here and just reorganize this entire kitchen. When we moved in, we just kind of put things where we thought we wanted them and we haven't really moved anything around since, but I cannot wait to come in and reorganize this entire kitchen. 
So if you're curious why I just put that single, um, I guess they're cabinet protectors down on the bottom, it's because I store my cast iron pans down there and cast iron pans can be pretty dirty and I didn't want it to kind of scuff up the cabinet for when we actually use it. So that's basically why I have that down there. If you guys are new to my channel or if this is your first time seeing us, first of all, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this. I truly hope that you are enjoying this and it is just keeping you motivated to just get some things done. But here on my channel, I share a ton of cleaning motivation, some organizing and decluttering, a little bit of decorating. So if you enjoy any of that content, I know you will truly enjoy what this channel has to offer. And we would absolutely love to have you part of our YouTube family. So don't forget to subscribe by hitting that little red button down below. This cabinet, if you can't tell, is all of the boys stuff. It's all of their plates, their bowls, and cups that they use basically on a daily basis. But I don't know if you guys saw it on the top shelf. There was actual baby bottles. And to be quite honest with you, I don't even know why I still had them when we moved back in October. Logan wasn't even taking a bottle at that point and I might have just found them in a box when we were unpacking some things so I definitely needed to get rid of those things and I also got rid of a few cups that they no longer use anymore so it was really nice coming in here and just kind of tidying it up and just getting rid of cups and things that they don't use anymore. Time to make space for some new things for the boys. The inside of our microwave really was not bad at all. Not only did I come in here and do really good cleaning like a week or two ago, but we also use a food cover for anything that we do microwave and it is amazing. I hardly ever have to come in here and clean up food splatters. It totally just saves our microwave. So I highly, highly recommend them. I will have the one that we have linked down below for you guys in case you want one to check out. It completely folds up so if you don't want to store inside your microwave you can just fold it up and put it inside a drawer or a cabinet but they are amazing. So you guys are totally going to laugh, but when it came to cleaning inside my oven, I had every intention on making this whole little baking soda concoction that I have seen so many times. And then when I went to go pull the baking soda out of the cabinet, we did not have any. So I completely spaced and didn't think about anything else that I would be able to make of things that I had on hand. I basically just used the multi-service cleaner that I was using and it did okay but 
it just did not get it completely clean the way I wanted and I was actually talking to my friend Kristen from Life Made Simple here on YouTube and she suggested using dish Dawn soap and vinegar so I don't know why I didn't even think about that but when it comes to coming back in here to finish the job I'm gonna work on my oven some more and if by chance I don't have baking soda when I come do that I will definitely be using that little concoction. So if you guys need some ideas, that is definitely one that you can use for cleaning inside your oven. I will say that it really wasn't too bad. I mean, there was a couple of grease splatters, but considering it just, it was not bad at all. The appliances in the house are actually brand new. I mean, we got them when we moved into this house back in October, so they're still pretty brand new and haven't really been broken in, if you will. So I just wanna try and stay on top of it and keep it clean as much as possible so it just doesn't get out of hand. But I would definitely be cleaning this a lot better next time I come in here and clean the kitchen. I also think that I want to move a few things around in here, but that is just gonna have to wait for now. I also wanted to be sure to clean the stovetop grates and unfortunately these are not something that I feel comfortable with putting in the dishwasher. They're cast iron I think it is. So I just kind of wash them with warm water and soap and then dry them and they are good as now.
Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of work on wiping everything else down, like the counters. Unfortunately, I was running out of time and I really needed to get to the refrigerator. So I am done cleaning, deep cleaning the cabinets for now. And then when I am done wiping down the counters and the table, I will move on to the refrigerator. So also on my to-do list in here next time I come in here and work on some deep cleaning is to completely move the kitchen table, vacuum the rug underneath that as well as moving the rug and cleaning out from underneath that. But to say that the table is heavy is a little bit of an understatement because the table is super heavy. So it has to be a day that Chris can actually help me work on that. And I cannot wait to show him that there will be crumbs and dirt underneath the rug because he does not believe me. So I just cannot wait to show him. So at this point I had been cleaning for hours and I felt so productive but I was starting to really feel exhausted. So if you guys are at that point I just want to encourage you just to kind of keep going and finish whatever thing that you're working on and you will just feel so accomplished afterwards. Alright, so moving to the refrigerator. I am so excited. I Alright, so moving to the refrigerator just to show you guys what I was working with. It was so bad. I had just gone to the grocery store and there was like no room for anything. So I knew this was gonna need to be done today. But are you guys really good at eating your leftovers or are you like me and things just tend to get lost in the abyss and forgotten or you just don't feel like eating them because sometimes I try really hard to just go through all of our leftovers even if I don't feel like eating it I just I don't like wasting food but honestly I'm not perfect life happens or sometimes I just don't feel like eating it and it gets forgotten and just wasted but honestly, I really try so hard to go through as much of the food as I can so nothing does get wasted. But let me know what you guys, how are you guys with your leftovers? Also, I will say that it is mostly our vegetables that go bad the quickest. So I think I'm actually gonna start prepping them and pre-cutting them so they are already prepared and that way they are hopefully wasted less. So I'm gonna try that and see how it goes. Okay. 
so looking back at this now I don't know why I didn't but I did not pull anything out of the doors and I totally should have to be honest there probably wasn't anything in the doors that I needed to throw out because we do go through a lot of dressings and we go through a lot of barbecue sauces because Chris loves to grill but I at least should have definitely pulled things out to wipe the doors down just like I did the inside of the refrigerator. So that will have to happen next time. Gosh, now it's sounding like I have so much to do next time I come in here and deep clean my kitchen. But there is my nice, tidy, and clean refrigerator. I absolutely love it. Said that you moved on. Where did I go wrong? I try to make you stay, but I guess my love wasn't enough. Was it me or was it you? So as I was pu putting trash into the trash can, I saw some like crumbs and things inside that cabinet. So I wanted to kind of make sure to vacuum that out, get everything picked up so it's nice and clean, even though that is the trash cabinet. Just pictures on okay, so now that we are all done with some deep cleaning and got some things done, let's reward ourselves and make this yummy, yummy treat. This is just a twist on Rice Krispie Treats using a stick of butter, a whole box of Lucky Charms, and I used almost a full bag of marshmallows. This was a 16 ounce, 16 ounce bag of marshmallows and the recipe called for 10. So you kind of guys can just judge it then. I use a little extra than 10 ounces though. But first you're gonna start off by melting the entire stick of butter and then you're gonna slowly add in the marshmallows. So I know Rice Krispie Treats are fairly easy to make, but just in case you want it, I will have this recipe linked down below for you guys. I would have given even more, my heart is breaking up inside, can't believe I love to die, guess it's out of my control, why do you want to end? Was it real or just pretend? And then once the butter and marshmallows are completely melted, you'll just mix the cereal and the marshmallows together and until all of the cereal is coated nicely with the marshmallowy gooeyness. Was it real or just pretend? So it's really funny. I completely forgot how messy and sticky making Rice Krispie Treats are until I was making these. Totally, totally worth it, but super, super messy. But I also wanted to mention that you guys could totally use any cereal when you're making these. I think next time I make something like this, I'm going to try using Captain Crunch or maybe one of my other favorite cereals because I'm sure it'll all be super delicious. So I totally underestimated how much this recipe made and I had to switch to a bigger pan, but don't forget to coat the bottom of your dish with some spray on butter or some grease or whatever, just so the Rice Krispie Treat or cereal bar does not stick to the bottom of the pan. And then you're going to kind of press everything down firmly so it all sticks nicely and makes a nice little bar. All 
All right, you guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this clean with me and it gave you some extreme cleaning motivation to just get some things done, get some things checked off your to-do list and do some deep cleaning as well. But don't forget to subscribe before you leave here and we will see you in our next video. Bye.